So comrade, welcome to Forest Green Rovers. A low move to the end of the season. Talk me through it from your point of view. Yeah, it's a it's a new challenge for me. It's something I'm excited um, excited to get done, get over the line, and and get here and, and hopefully get some games and, and push this club over the line and, and get promotion. When did the conversation start and, and what was it about Forest Green that was like, OK, yeah, that could be a, a good option for me at this time? Yeah, there was a, a, um, probably at the, at the end of last week, beginning of this week, there was a, a couple of possible options um, and then it sort of developed over just the last couple of days. Um, you know, Once I knew this was something solid, it was, it was one I was keen to to get over the line, get here and, and get going. Because you obviously watched on from the sidelines for the recent 4-3 game. What did you make of that one? Yeah, absolutely. Um, <laughs> entertaining, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, listen, I, I think, um, you know, it was especially second half. I think Forest Green, you know, deserved to, to get something out of the game, be it a draw or a win um, after probably, you know, it, it was a difficult game, actually, because it was very, very windy. Forest Green playing into the wind in the first half is... It's a hard in that stadium when the wind's going like that. It's a hard half to get out of. Sometimes, sometimes you need to just bite the bullet and see if you can get in nil nil at half time and go again second half. Um, obviously, that wasn't to be for them, but how they responded and, and, and performed in the second half was was fantastic. And you know, obviously, they got the win. One thing the manager was saying about bringing you in is that experience. You were in the playoffs last year. Obviously, playing Newport, like Forest Green, where you've got that experience through the leagues. How important is that going to be for this second half of the season? Though? Yeah, hopefully, you know, I've. I've been in and around um, a lot of clubs and teams that have been in playoffs and promotions. So, listen, any anything that I can I can bring experience-wise to the table, help the help the team, um, would be great. I mean, the team's obviously in a good position at this time, um, you know, and and deserve a lot of credit for the way they've performed this season, especially after the end of last season, which you know they were very unfortunate in the playoffs. Um, sometimes you can you know have a hangover the next season after that and. Mm -hmm. You know, it never quite happens, but you know they've come in, hit the ground running this season, and are in good form. And hopefully, now we can use that experience to uh, to get us over the line this season. Goalkeepers unions—they're usually pretty tight knit groups. Uh, Dan Connor here in charge. Uh, do you know much about him? Have you met him before, or or know about what he provides? Yeah, absolutely. I've passed across a few times. Um, you know, I'm well aware of him as a as a player and, and a coach as well. Uh, someone I'm looking forward to to working with. Um, and you know it, it, it got a good unit here. I know Adam Smith from from a time at Leicester as well. Adam was young lad there at the time. Um, and you know, obviously the the goalkeeping side's been been all right this season because of the position that we're in. So we'll work hard, and you know, best man hopefully will get the shirt, and away we go. And hopefully you'll see the progression that Adam's made from that time at Leicester all the way through. He, he has come on a lot since then. Yeah, absolutely. Look, he's had he's had more experience. As I say he was a kid there. He's. He's, he's had a few clubs since there, so like anyone, it's, it all adds to it once you get out, get a bit of experience, and you know, sort of see what league football is really like. Completely. Um, part of the research, obviously, you've got to scroll through the Twitter page and see what's on there. One thing that really stood out to me was that game for Hibs Scottish Cup semi-final. Talk me through some of those saves were ridiculous, but talk me through you as a goalkeeper and what play, what fans can expect from you as a goalkeeper. Listen, I, I, I'm, I'm honest, I, I, I like training, I like playing, I'm, I'm a winner. I think that's one of the main things I've, I've sort of had throughout my career, be it a five-a-side or be it on a Saturday. Um, so whatever team I'm with throughout my career, being on loan, playing, I'll give 100%. Um, and listen, I'm, I'm quite vocal. Um, you know, like any goalkeeper, should be able to be a shot stopper, a distributor. Um, but um, you know, hopefully they, they'll they'll get to see that over over the next few weeks. Um, but that but that game and also I was watching the Newport game, the first leg last season. Your player who can really step up on those big occasions and you thrive in those it seems as well. Yeah, I mean, I've I've been fortunate enough through my career to to experience big days playing at big stadiums and you know yeah, that, listen, that's why we're that's why we're all footballers. We. You know, no one really wants to be floating around on a Tuesday night. Somewhere you want to be out in the big stage, you know, playing against good teams and big stadiums. And you know, that's if you don't have that mentality or that that drive, then you know you'll you'll struggle in, in the professional game. And look, as I say, I've been fortunate enough to do it, and you know, hopefully we'll we'll experience some good days here as well. Starting with Macclesfield away on Saturday, a team you've already faced this season, but. 
next couple of days we'll find out will you be starting, will you be on the bench, what role you'll be playing, but how important is it for three points up at that place to, to get back in that playoff picture? Yeah, absolutely. Listen, this league, it's it's a hard league. As you see the results every week, anyone can beat anyone. Um, look, they're not in the best position, um, but there's no gimmies. I went up there with Mansfield, um, you know, after the, the first uh, during that week we actually thought the game might not go ahead mm-hmm. because the players were going to go on strike we went up there we drew 0-0 couldn't bet them down they're a good team they're scrapping for their lives they're lads that probably some of them haven't been paid they're probably scrapping for contracts so it's the league position is irrelevant I think on, on most Saturdays especially at this level um, so you know we'll just graft over the next few days have a game plan I'm sure and, and go out and hopefully execute it and Take three points. Well, Conrad, it's great to have you at the club. Looking forward to the rest of the season with you here. Pleasure. Thank you very much.